Hello, oh, I'm going to do a face off today. I've got two of my, well, kind of my favourite razors, I guess. Nearly every razor is favourite to me, though. Hence why these are my keepers at the moment. One of them I've had for an awfully long time. One of them I ain't had that long, but I've had a couple of them in the past. I'll show you my dandy one first. This is a Bartman High Class. Uh, I forget what number it is actually. But it's a six apes. Solingen mate from Germany. Uh, I, I believe like they're kind of like held in rather high regard and any any Bartmans that I've ever found have always been kind of what I'd call sort of a bit more on the fancy sort of scale of things. Definitely uh I think they were definitely kind of they always remind me a bit of Dorco. That's what they remind me of. And they've got the same tags. It's even got like a little tag. And it's the same kind of tag that you've got with Dorcos. You know, they probably all come out of the same bloody house, didn't they? Grinding houses ultimately, but yeah, it's really nice. And I'll show you the rose, just put the box back together. One like will last but nice little box. I think when I bought this, it was Noz. Because even looking at the bevel, I can remember looking at the bevel. So I was trying to get my ends. It's got a free pinner, which always suggests that, you know, it was more for the sort of premier market, if you know what I mean. It's got a beautiful finish to it. The grinding's, well, second to none, basically. It's got a lovely little Bartman logo and trademark and everything down the bottom. What number is it? 30, that's it, yeah. It's a number 30. It's got cool markings on it, well, cool to me anyway. <laughs> I'm quite easily pleased with uh, razors. But what first drawed me to this razor, actually, I must say, is the stamp on the back. So this was a, a steel manufacturer in Sheffield, went for a number of years. He did used to make tools and cutlery and whatnot, but then he switched from making cutlery and everything to just basically making metal uh, for the cutlery, well the Sheffield market but also the German market so you'll get various makers from Germany as well using Kaiser steel uh, let's have a little read of it, can't really remember of it all it says registered, made from Kaiser, Ellison and Co it says S but I mean steel best Sheffield silver steel silver steel <laughs> uh, it's got quite a different grind on this sort of around this area really nice lines and everything and from memory it shaved really great I just did the HHT before I bought it out and it was failing along most of it but there we go my old strops done it again my old vintage I'm just going to give the oh sorry Mick without further ado eh? and there's the other one's an NK32 you you know if you watch my videos this one sort of starred in its own little one not too long ago but it's just a lovely razor MK32s, just beautiful razors, man. Let's just give it a bit of a live nut. When I put this away, it was popping hairs like nobody's business, so I don't imagine the edges degraded at all. I reckon that Bartman, when I put that away, I reckon I've left a little tiny bit of fluff and whatnot on the edge, because I could see, like, with my naked eye, a few and I was a bit like, Jesus Christ, what's happened to the edge? It's only been sat in store, like, you know, storage of sorts. But yeah, I think it was just a bit of sort of dust or something, because it comes straight off on the strop. Yeah, two lovely razors. I've had that Bartman for quite a long time now. And today I'm going to be shaving with the old Mysore vintage sandalwood from Crabtree and Elevin, uh, Evelyn. It's lovely soap. <clears throat> Let's get swirling it up. Get the lava going. Yeah, I've had that Bartman quite a long time now. And it was one of the first sort of what I call posh razors. Because it does sort of scream a bit of posh. And the scales remind me a bit of the gutter scales as well. And I think that's what drawed me to it because I really like the gutters. Even though I ain't actually got one at present. I've got some coming through. Well, they ain't even coming through the stones yet because they're a bit tatty. Yeah. Great razors the gutters. Yeah, and the scales definitely remind me a bit of the gutters. 
but it's just a cool little sort of trademark and everything. I had one of the look like sort of the bigger brothers of that. I forget what number it is now, but the one that you can get at like seven, just over seven eighths. But I sold that a good while ago. And I thought, well, I ain't shaved with Bartman for a while. Let's get Bartman out. And every time I shave it, I always think of, you know, do the Bartman basically. Even though I ain't watched Mr. Well, Homer Simpson and his family for a long time. <laughs> and I mean a long time. It sticks with you though. Three days growth, I think. I think, anyway. It's either three or four. I think it's three. It's coming along. Good enough. Right. Shave with the Bartman on my right side today. Just because I've been eyeing this one up. Like I said, I think it came to me Noz. When I looked under, there was just no home wear or anything on it. Do you know what? I can't remember even what edges it's got on it. I wouldn't be surprised if it's just got the um, Shapton Pro 12,000. Which is a great edge. Yeah, I'll have to have a look under the scope. I reckon that is a 12,000 edge. Now, sometimes you can get them a bit too keen, but on the whole, it's a great great edge. It's one I've shaved with for years. Shapton Pro 12,000. Years and years. Before I moved on to sort of getting some natural finishes and stuff. Natural finishing edges, are they better? Pfft, don't know, really. That's super smooth, that is. And I'm just looking at it, I'm near sure it's 12,000 because it they like the 12,000 Shapton's nearly a mirror finish. It's very close to a mirror finish. <clears throat> right, let's do the MK32.
Not much in it from the first sort of feel and touch. Both edges felt super smooth. It's a bit of a thinner sort of grind on the MK32, which is. Oh, I've just got soap just where I not didn't want it. Which is very, very common. They are one of the thinnest grinds I find. Let's try and do it side by side. It's nearly impossible to get it to focus, but. Super thin, both of them are really thin. Both feel about the same. I think the MK left a little bit more there, just there. Not quite as good shaving in my left arm as I am my right though, so. You've always got to kind of consider that at least a little bit. It's gone a bit thick. That's it. That's it. Good to go. Oh, let's do a bit of the old ATG. Feels a bit unnecessary sometimes, but. It's very tight, feels very sharp. <coughs> Excuse me. It's got a lovely feel to this steel, really has. Bit of a satin kind of finish to it in a way as well. Just a bit of a joy to behold, really. Right, let's do the old MK, Mr. Carl Victor's finest.
Very nice. Few little marks on it. But she's quite an old razor. One of Swedish finest. So make sure I don't fall out, please. There we go. Let's have a little feel. I kind of feel like they've done nearly on part. Maybe bite them a little bit better. In terms of smoothness, I think that Bartman was ever so slightly more smoother. From memory, it's probably only got three shaves on it. Do you know what? No, I was wrong. Yeah, no, the MK is definitely a bit closer. Marginal, but... Yeah, like on my pro problem area, I'll call it, just there, which is very common with men. Yeah, the CV's definitely a bit closer. Not nice shave, either way though, man. Two great razors, one German, one Swedish. German using Sheffield steel, the, some of the finest Sheffield steel as well. Like, you can find old posters of uh, old Kaiser Ellison. Yeah, he was a. Uh, Supplier of many metals, he, and they, they, they went till quite late as well. Like from memory, I think they went into near the. Well, I can't really remember, but I think they might have gone into the eighties. Got some quite recent. Well, not some recent. It's not recent, is it? It's still like forty year nearly. Right, I love you and leave you. Have a good day, everybody. See you later. Do the loop.